Louise from RSA and I'm here to talk to you about encryption and how to access emails that we send to you with encryption on them and what it means to you. So essentially encryption is just an extra level of security that we can put on an email to protect your sensitive data. Obviously looking after your uh, personal data and the more sensitive data is incredibly important to us here at RSA and as the technology becomes more and more accessible we're going to try and do as much as we can to make sure that we keep it that way for you. So encrypted emails um, just allow us to send that information to you with a little bit more security on it, preventing anybody from sort of hijacking that email um, communication and potentially sharing information that you wouldn't otherwise want to share with anyone else. So what does this mean to you? Well, it doesn't mean a, a great deal of effort, to be honest, which is the great news. Um, if you're in Outlook, we utilize Outlook as a business. So the Outlook to Outlook um, side of things from an encryption perspective is relatively straightforward. Um, that being said, in terms of if it's sort of a Gmail or a Yahoo or a different account, it's also not overly complicated. And I'm going to go through that now just to show you um, what to expect, what it'll look like. If you ever have any doubts, though, and you're curious as to whether the the email that you've been sent is legitimate, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. It's always we're always happy for you to check. But if I show you now, then at least you know what to expect and you've got an idea of um, how to proceed when you do receive one. So here in the background, we've got um, the Outlook encrypted messages page, which gives you a little bit more information. You'll have had this link from us at the start of our communications preempting that we're going to send you an encrypted message just so that you've got the opportunity to get a little bit more information on it. If you didn't get a chance to read it um, and you're not sure where the link is, obviously just ask us. We can send it to you again. Um, equally, if you have a look at encryption and Outlook um, through Google or something, uh, this page is likely to pop up. So whichever method is easiest for you, it's easy to find. I'm just going to scroll down. These are the two topics that are going to be probably of most interest based on this conversation. Um, like I say, with Outlook, it's fairly straightforward. I'm going to focus on what to expect when you're not using Outlook um, to receive our messages. So I'm going to start showing you how that will work and how that looks. Okay, so here I am in Outlook. Any of the RSA team will be sending an email. So they put in your address here. Um, I'm going to use a gmail.com address and I'm just going to have uh, test encryption as the subject and we'll get that sent. So I'm just going to make sure that the encryption here is encrypt only and I'm going to get that sent to myself. All right, so here I am in my Gmail and you can see that obviously there's an email I've sent here. This is that test encryption. I'm going to click on it. Obviously, it's now saying I've got a protected message. Click on read the message and it's going to give me some options. Uh, click on sign in with one time passcode. And what that's going to do is it's going to email me a code copy that code, paste it into here. Again, just watch if it is a private computer just to keep an eye on where you're logging in from. Click continue and then that opens up the email. It's as simple as that. Very straightforward, just a couple of clicks to get you access and the whole process obviously keeps your data, most importantly, um, as secure as possible. If you do need any additional help or support on this, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at rsaccountancy.co.uk.